we are going to discuss about an important archaeological finding that happened in 1980s 2000 years after death a man's body is not rot and it's continuing the same science gave this man a name linto man the incident happened in the month of august in 1984 the unbelievable corpse was found by two working men of a bog land in Cheshire County near northwest England if a man or any being dies within hours that body will get rot unbearable stench is produced from it too as time goes on it will get more rot we all know the signs behind the decay of dead bodies here we have got a dead body and it's almost 2000 years but still it's not in a stage of decay Scientists have conducted many studies in that body and the inferences were astonishing. Before death, the man went through brutal physical attacks. His body went through different kinds of tortures hours before the death. But this was not the cause of his death. He died of suffocation. But the shocking information was something else. We were able to understand the damage to this body that died 2000 years ago. Usually, it's very hard to identify the damage has happened to a body even after 2 or 3 weeks of death. This is where Lindo man becomes the real mystery because signs were able to understand each and every damage happened to that body. Why it remains as an undecayed body and what is the principle behind it? Let's check it out. So we will start its description from the base level. Yes, the soil from our earth. The amount of microorganisms found in one spoon of soil is very high in number. The number of microorganisms in one spoon will be more than the total human population of earth itself. It contains different types of bacteria, algae, fungus, protozoans and other microorganisms. Soil contains about 25% of the total biodiversity of the earth. It is due to the action of these microorganisms. When an organism dies, it is immediately decayed. We don't find the same microorganisms in every soil. It differs. If we take the case of grasslands, grasslands are mostly infested with bacteria. On the other hand, large forests contain fungus. Therefore, the decay and decomposition of substances around the earth happens in different rate and different degrees. Plants or dead bodies once fell into the soil is immediately attacked by microbes and as an after reaction of it, an enzyme is produced. Because of this enzyme, a chemical reaction happens there and we call it oxidation due to oxidation molecules of higher organic matters are converted to small particles and higher energy is produced in addition to energy many nutrients such as carbon to reach the soil this process is known as mineralization the same microbes absorbs carbon and some other nutrients but there are some molecules that can't be absorbed by microbes they are the molecules of nitrogen sulfur and calcium even if these nutrients remain in the soil plants and large trees will absorb them too in areas with good humidity and rainfall this types of materials decomposes very fast on the other hand if it is in a hot area it will take time to decay and decompose in short Decaying organisms return to the same species either through plants or large trees or to its next generation. It is a cyclic process and it gets continued on and on. Is this process happening like this everywhere in the earth? The answer to this question by science is a big no. The perfect example for it is the wet bog lands located in Cheshire, England. It is because of the presence of sphagnomoses algae that contain acidic nature. These algae produces acidic compounds and through roots it gets into the soil. 
in addition the cold weather in england makes it very difficult for microorganisms to grow in these areas if the remains of the algae falls on the ground then its content will never be destroyed from the soil therefore after many years a large mound of debris can be seen in the swamp it actually creates a hard shield that not even oxygen can get into it for the same reason if a man or an animal falls into that ground then that body won't decompose and will remain like that forever the remains of moses like this fall on top of it thus it becomes a huge heap even after so many years it won't decay and this happens because of the absence of microbes in this region naturally a doubt will spark in your mind it will be regarding the large number of microbes in our body why these microbes are not able to make our body subjected to decay the reason behind this is also the presence of acidic compounds present in the soil because of the working of these compounds the microbes are destroyed this is what happened in the case of lindo man's body too the presence of acid in the soil made his bones decay but the skin other organs are still remaining the same without decay through the scientific studies conducted in his body we were able to know that this man was a very hard working one what's even more interesting is that inside his stomach there still exists a half digested piece of bread anyway while examining his body it is very evident that he went through a lot of brutal torture it is doubtful whether he was sacrificed in the name of any religion through studies science was able to detect an approximation of his age which is around 25 His death may have occurred between 2 BC and 119 AD. His body is currently preserved in the British Museum. This is not the only body obtained from this region. In 1983, we got the body of Lindo women from the same place. Want to join us on our journey to the greatest mysteries and sensational discoveries? then subscribe to bright carelight english and never miss any of our videos in the future remember to give our posters a thumbs up to show us that we keep you engaged with our content